G'day everybody, Steve from Rikon Australia again to talk about another fantastic product and that is the 10-353 bandsaw. This bandsaw is one of the best on the market, if not the best on the market, although some people say I'm a little biased. This machine has a three horsepower motor and it is a, only a 14 inch bandsaw, which makes it extremely powerful when, it, when you're talking about bandsaws. Okay, you've got a 305 millimeter depth here, so you've got a very, very high depth of cut. And because of the force and the power of the motor, it enables you to cut and resaw timber with the correct blade, and it's all about blade. The machine comes with a 150 mil fence as standard. Not like others, they give you a little fence and then you've got to buy that as an optional extra. The good thing about Rikon bandsaws, if you open the door and look inside, all the do's and don'ts are inside the door. No matter what you're doing, whatever bandsaw, what's ever wrong with the machine, is the blade not cutting, whatever it is, you can refer to the uh, instructions inside the door. Also inside the door, you've got the blade length in inches and in millimetres, and you've got the maximum width blade you can do. In this case, it's from quarter to one inch, or as you would guess, 6.35 to 25.4 millimetre. The machine itself, has the reed switches on the top and bottom door. So the machine is 100% safe. This machine will not start until you close the door. You've also got through, if you look through the little window, you've got a gauge, just a rough idea of tell you how tight to put that blade up for whatever width it is. You've also got a lock. We've all got little ones running around with this machine. The key taken away and hidden in a safe place, nobody can accidentally start this machine, which is extremely good. Okay, comes with a miter fence. One of the unique features of this little guy here is apart from the brake, which I'm now standing on, it has a motor brake, an electronic brake, which assists to stop the motor. So basically, if you are injured and you can't make the brake, if you turn it off, the machine will stop itself. Great feature. Let's have a look at the adjustment on the blade. A lot of the machines running around at the moment, you've got to find an Allen key to adjust the rollers on your blade. Not this machine. Just by pushing that little guy over there, getting it to where you want it, and tightening it, it's done. You've set your blade ready to cut. Adjustments, unloose the lock at the back and you just simply wind it up and down. Not shake it and hope you've got it in the right position. Precise up and down adjustment. You've also got blade release. When you're not using the machine, what you should always do is release your blade. What this does, it takes the tension off the blade and stops the blade cutting into the rubber. Of the, uh, of the wheels. Once you're ready to start the machine up again, all you do is push it, lock it, one lever, and the blade is ready to cut. Tilting the table to 45. A lot of the machines on the market, you've got a little lock, you lock it, and then you shake it as much as you can to get it where you want it. Not with this little beauty. Undo the lever, and then you just turn it. You actually turn it like that, and it turns roughly where you want it. To put it back to square, it goes automatically back to 90 degrees, lock it, 100%. Two dust extraction outlets. Because this machine is so powerful, and as we've already talked about, you may want to resaw with this machine, you have two extraction outlets. One here on the side, and another one all the way down on the bottom. Let's look at some other machines. The fence itself. Everybody knows that the fence lies back and forwards. And why do fences get harder to move as they get old? I'll I'll I will tell you why. Because most of the machines on the market have a steel bolt that locks the fence. So what happens is every time you move the fence, it puts a little dent in your rod. This little guy is brass. So what happens is it doesn't dent the rod. It just simply locks it and there's no mark. So therefore, as it goes along, it doesn't get harder to move as it gets older. Then you can look about this little guy, this little fence here. This fence you can tighten. This fence moves it left or right, which is helping you with the actual the resource of the world. When you want to resaw, you can bring it in closer or you can make it move away. They actually adjust the fence in and out. That is unique to this machine. So, we could go on and on and on and on and on talking about this machine. If you're looking for a bandsaw that is one of the best on the market, go to your local Rikon dealer and have a look at the 10-353. I'm Steve, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to pop into your local Rikon dealer. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.